We finally have a wild card that is staying on the show. Seal was introduced during last night's girl group episode and actually stayed on. So we have clues for him plus new pitch correct audio. Before we get started and go through it all, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, last night's episode was quite interesting. I really like girl group. Uh, we can all also agree that Ken still cannot sing. Rita can sing very well. We know that because they all came out for their uh, the group performance. I want to be honest, I forgot how good the song that is. So I'm so happy they sung that. And then we had our first reveal of the night, or actually the only reveal of the night, Ms. Cleopatra, who was great. But I think the reason why they had to reveal her is that she probably wasn't able to stand for too long. As you see, she kind of sat for a decent amount of it. So I think it was one of those things where just like, hey, we got to get her off the show just so that, you know, it's too much for her. And that's why they voted her out. Because honestly, I don't think she would have been voted out. That's my honest guess. Oh, so anyway, who was under the mask? Jennifer Lewis. She was under the mask of Ms. Cleopatra, and I no longer have to say her name. And the reason why I say that, and I'm talking about the costume, is I keep messing it up, and now I don't have to mess it up anymore because we don't have her on the show. That leaves three people in Group B. The Beats, who are very talented. I think they did a great job. The Gumball, who gave us a really sad story. And then... The brand new Seal, who, I don't know, listening to Pitch Correct Audio, you might figure out who is under the mask. Now, we do have clues for these characters, so let's go over the clues, starting over with the Seal. Now, I will tell you, a lot of you guys want me to reveal the Seal tomorrow, but I don't know. Look at these clues. I don't think it's enough to really give us who we think it is. So it starts off with a movie trailer, you know, with one of those voices for a movie called The Seal. And a lot of people say it kind of reminds us as Stranger Things title, right? He says, hey guys, what's all the fuss? Just like a seal, I'm cute, cuddly, and friendly. He says he makes sense that he's a wild card member because he's been mistakenly perceived as a wild child growing up. So maybe someone who is a child star. That's where some of the guesses came from. He says that we know him from screens, radios, and posters tacked up on our walls. Movie star, or TV star, I get that. And he says he's excited to be here on Girl Night Group because he was one of the most famous groups in the world. He was in one of the most famous groups in the world. So who could that be? Groups. Maybe it was an ensemble in a movie? I know, right? Visual clothes, a treasure chest. Oh, wait a minute. That actually, that might be a good clue right there. A driver's license, TV, radio, and a poster of him with a vampire teeth. Oh, I think I just figured out just listening to this. And this was his onstage clue. He says, you know, it's easy to be confident when you have a boss like Steven Spielberg. I feel like he just gave it away, right? Now we have the pitch correct audio. I'll save it to the end of the video for you to listen to. It's time for the gumball. And the gumball and the beats, we already revealed. I'll put those reveals in the comment section of this video. He says, it's exciting to perform a girl group because there's actually one girl who's been singing his lead for years, his wife. And he remembers the night that this angel came from across the room. He knew immediately that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. And I think everything was perfect until she was diagnosed with something that will impact her later in life. Which is really, really sad. At the same time, it's a really good clue in figuring out who this is. For visual clues, we had a carnival on a pier, a pair of angel wings, a ferris wheel, a crescent moon, and a globe bowling ball. His onstage clue, well, don't you wish you could have started with Channing Tatum like me? The big one right there. Next is the beats. They say, like girl bands out there, we bring both our own spice. I was a total ladies man, and I was the tough guy. Two guys who couldn't be more different. But we didn't try to outdo each other. But instead, like other girl groups, we teamed up. It was their friendship that made them a delicious duo and kept them on the menus nationwide. Visual clues, mistletoe, a menu for Beats restaurant, and a castle made out of different bread. Their onstage clue, they said that we've made our audience weak in the knees on Broadway. So clearly these guys perform on Broadway or have performed on Broadway. From what we reveal, yes, they've been on Broadway. Now it's time for the pitch correct audio. 
When it comes to the seal, I think the audio is beyond perfect, okay? So I'm gonna play you the original audio they gave us, and then my brand new pitch correct audio. Take a listen, write down who you think they are, and um, then check out the reveal videos we have for everyone. We haven't revealed the seal yet, and usually we do a vote on who we think we're gonna reveal for Friday. And we only have one character we haven't done so yet, and I really don't think we have enough clues to reveal him, but let me sit down and kind of play with it. Anyway, take a listen. So the pressure is on to pay homage to the ladies tonight. Like the best girl groups out there, we both bring our own spice. So the pressure is on to pay homage to the ladies tonight. Like the best girl groups out there, we both bring our own spice. I was the total ladies man. And I was the tough guy. Two guys who couldn't be any more different. But we didn't try to outdo each other. Instead, like a good girl group, we teamed up. It was our organic friendship that made us a delicious duo and kept us on menus nationwide. Yeah, we're still touring, hitting the town. We'd be so excited to make it to the Group B finale. And tonight is the night we're gonna make it happen. It's exciting to perform on Girl Group Night because there's actually one girl who's been singing lead in my life for years. My wife. It's exciting to perform on Girl Group Night because there's actually one girl who's been singing lead in my life for years. My wife. I still remember the night I met her. An angel from across the room. <laughs> I knew right then and there I would spend the rest of my life with her. And everything was perfect. Until she was diagnosed with a disease that will impact her later in life. Suddenly, the forever that we were planning looked very different and we had a decision to make. We could let what's on the horizon define us, or we could choose to be present each and every moment to say yes more and explore all of the wide open spaces out there. And tonight, I'm singing one of her favorite songs. Hey guys, what's all the fuss about? Just like a seal, I'm cute, cuddly, and friendly. Hey guys, what's all the fuss about? Just like a seal, I'm cute, cuddly, and friendly. Though it makes sense on the wild card, because I was mistakenly perceived as a wild child. You only know me from your screens, radios, or posters tacked up on your walls. And I'm so excited to be here on Girl Group Night, because I was in one of the most famous groups in the world. And now, I'll get your seal of approval with a girl group anthem by some fabulous mass Singer alum. So who do you think that is? I want you to make a list in the comment section, say gumball blank and etc. And then uh, we'll compare notes. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. I'll see you later. Bye.